This is Nathan Edelsberg from Found Remote here at MIPCOM 2015. We're really excited to be here with Fred Graver, the global head of TV Creative for Twitter. Uh, if you can start by just telling us a little bit about what you do at Twitter. So what I do at Twitter is I work with uh, all of our, our global TV teams. And, and we basically, you know, we had a ton of success in the US and we have a kind of a playbook now. And we have global partners and it's interesting, like the global partners are incredibly eager to build their audiences and, and to engage with the audiences and build you know, a, a conversation on Twitter. So a lot of what we do is we take what we've learned and, and now there's a kind of exchange going on between what's happening in you know, with MasterChef in Brazil or with you know, The Voice in France and all of a sudden there's like this exchange of ideas and approaches and I kind of help all of the teams and our partners kind of understand what everybody else is doing around the world. Great. And, and why is it important for you to be at MIPCOM, such a global TV event? I know you mentioned some of the regions, but you know, how have you seen kind of Twitter become a global company for TV? Yeah, so essentially we, we, you know, we have media teams, we have TV teams around the world, and we have great partners. Um, one of the great interesting things for MIPCOM is we can spend time with you know, the buyers and the sellers, uh, uh, a lot of the big global companies like Talpa and Fremantle and Endemol and the other companies that are going to get mad that I didn't mention them, um, you know, are here pushing their formats, working with broadcasters, and we're at the kind of nexus of that, right? We're like, a, we have become part of those shows, we've become part of, of those production processes. And so we're here to basically support our partners, but also, you know, introduce whatever new new... Uh, uh, products we have, whatever new approaches and best practices we have. And it's interesting because I would say a year or so ago when we came, people would open their eyes and they'd go like, why are you here? And this year that question hasn't come up. This year it's like, yes, we knew you'd be here and we're meeting with you. Great. And what's your own personal background? How did you end up as uh, Twitter's head of TV? So, uh, well, no, I'm not head of Twitter. TV. Tw yeah. How did you end up creative. as Twitter head of uh, TV creative? So, I uh, have a long career, longer than I care to elaborate on, uh, in television. And I started as a writer and producer. And all during the time I was writing and producing, I have an email address that goes back to 1985. Um, I was like a closet geek. And I kind of knew, and as, as did many people, uh, that TV and the internet were going to come together. And that the audiences would be you know, looking for ways to get into, you know, the, the, their favorite shows, and that there would also be a new layer of interaction that would build around them, right? So there's been 20 years of innovation and people experimenting with, with uh, 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 you know, different kinds of storytelling and, and things. And then, then came Twitter, which was never designed to be a second screen app. It was actually not designed with television in mind. It was designed so that people could take the most meaningful moments in their lives and share them with their friends and the rest of the world. And oddly enough, those meaningful moments very often happen while people are watching TV. And so that's an experiment I've been working on for a really long time, and here I am. Great. And uh, yeah, last question. How do you personally use Twitter, and do you have any recommendations on uh, good accounts to follow, to follow the industry, besides ours, of course? Right. Yeah, right. Your accounts are amazing. Um, I, I, yeah, I would have one recommendation. Uh, Jason Hirshhorn's Media Redef. Uh, his feed is great. He reads everybody. He reads you guys. He curates. If you're in the industry and you and you need like a and if you only have one thing to look at every day, look at look at Media Redef and Jason Hirshhorn.